Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another little first thoughts video for you guys today. I just got out of the theater and just got done watching Ghostbusters Afterlife right here. This is going to be a spoiler uh, free uh, review right now um, for you guys who don't want any spoilers because you may have not seen the movie yet. Uh, but this is just a first thoughts video just on the fly talking about the movie real quick. And uh, first thing I want to say uh, as I was walking out of the theater, I felt like a kid again. I felt like a kid again. Um, you know, it, it brought me back to the brought me back to the days of watching the original film, or you know, the original films that came out back in the '80s. And uh, I love it from the music to the set design, uh, just to the whole feel uh, of the movie. It felt like I was watching a movie from that time period, but you know, updated a little bit, obviously. And um, it's pretty much about this family that's getting kicked out of their, you know, their house, their home, and uh, having to move into uh, a, a new home in the middle of nowhere, pretty much, because uh, their their old their grandfather left them a house, and uh, their grandfather <laughs> used to be a, a Ghostbuster, and uh, one of the little girl of the family is a scientist, and uh, that's just a crazy. You know, stuff starts to happen, and I had a great time uh, watching this movie. Uh, I believe it's directed uh, by uh, it's called um, Ivan Reitman's son, uh, Jason Reitman. I think that's what it said at the end over there. It's also produced by a, a couple of really cool uh, people. We have to watch the movie to find out and stuff. But from the you know, from the trailers when I saw when I saw the trailers, I thought there were going to be like a lot of crazy fan service going on, which there is a little bit in here. Like we saw in the trailer, like those little marshmallow men and stuff, like little things that you know they're just doing to try to uh, market the kids, you know, like in Walmarts and stores like that to go out and buy some marshmallow man toys. Kind of like what they did to us back in the 80s, you know? But uh, it is what it is, that's the movie business. Um, I love Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's always a good addition uh, to movies like this. Uh, you know, even like the Halloween, uh, the Halloween film that he was in. I, I, for some reason, everything he's in, I, I always kind of enjoy. You know, what I mean, his, his sense of humor, his, his, his you know, his, just be his his wackiness. I always enjoy Paul Rudd in this movie. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try not to get into any crazy spoilers. But out of a zero to a ten, I'm gonna give this one a solid nine. Uh, I mean, well. How about about eight and a half? Eight and a half. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna make it make it more fair. About eight and a half. Um, I I loved it. I loved it. I had a good time with it. Stay tuned after the credits. There is a you know a little extra something something uh, at the end of the credits. But if you guys have seen this movie uh, this weekend, leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought. Hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoy my little first thoughts video. And if you guys like them, I might do more of uh, short little videos like this talking about my first thoughts uh, as I'm walking out of the theater about what I thought about said movies. And uh, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Da -da 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 -da.